your boy Chris Ryan and we're back for a brand new video. We're at Chandler High. Um, today's gonna be a little special video. I'm gonna be doing a video on my boy. He is actually graduating this year. I mean, this month. That's crazy if we can get a round of applause for him. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, you know, how his experience was in high school, any advice that he can give you young watches out there, the questions written down on my phone that we're gonna be going over with him. You guys are also gonna be seeing some sick ass cinematics in this video. Like I said, this video is gonna be about him. He hit me up, he wanted me to do a video, so I thought, you know what, it's gonna be a really great YouTube video as well, so he allowed us to do a little video of it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video. We're gonna show you guys the cinematics of what we get first, and then we're gonna do the Q&A. You guys just seen the video right now. We're walking around Chandler High and we're trying to find a spot where we can set up to do the QA. Man, I... hey, bro, look at the tripod. Look at the tripod. <laughs> bro, we're gonna set up the camera right there as like a little tripod, but la neta, it's too dark. It's too dark. Like, if we find a shaded area, it's too dark. And like, and in... okay, estamos parando en el pinche sol, huh? For real. So, I think what we're gonna do, guys, we might do a little mugbang QA about high school and stuff like that. Um, if we can't really find a spot, because to be honest, bro, like, Bro, we live in Arizona, bro. It's too hot to be standing in the sun, huh? And I ain't trying to get more dark. But what do you think, fool? Should we pick up some food and do a mukbang or what? I'm down. All right, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go get some AC, go get some food, and we'll do a mukbang. We're getting some canes. We ordered one thing, everything off the menu, huh? Everything, yeah. everything. We told them, give me one thing off of the whole menu. <laughs> nah, guys, but... Yeah, guys, we're going to start munching right now. We're going to answer a couple questions for all the people that are going through high school right now. Um, all the phases and stuff like that. But, yeah, we're going to get into the video. I hate eating in front of the camera, bro. Why? People be judging, bro. Nah, fuck judging, now. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, but... Alright, so... So, yeah, that fool said that fool actually finished school. <laughs> <laughs> so, first question. First question, my boy. What is your experience in high school? My From freshman to senior? Mm -hmm. Showing up to class, getting my work done. Uh, mostly be there every day because I'm assigned the, like, they give you good assignments, you know, depending what class you have. But I recommend going to school, like, and if you want to pass your classes, I say, you know, show up every day, you know, when you can, you know, study, you know, do your homework and all that and count size points. I stick with it, bro. Like, we all know, I know I got at least a couple of you guys that watch my videos that be skipping school, ditching school, whatever. But to be honest, like, it's cool to do it every once in a while, but don't, you know, don't make it a habit. Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it, bro, because once you start getting into ditching every day, bro, you're not going to graduate, bro. <laughs> um... I mean, also, like, if you're good with tests and you can, like, if you're good, bro, but I'm a dumbass, bro, to be honest, like, I can't, I can't do nothing, bro, I can't, hell no, nah. but, but yeah, moral of the story, you feel me, make sure ganas, you know, have your fun, ditch you with your homies every once in a while, you gotta live life, but make sure you stick with school, make sure you get your work done, because if you don't, I, you're not gonna go through it, huh? Alright. Next question. High school beef. High school drama. Tell us about your high school stories, man. Mm. Well, beef? It would be beef, but it wouldn't come down to, you know, fighting. Go to sleep. 
it'll be, you know, internet talking. But once you see them, like, in person, like, you know, they just talk about you. Yeah. But it wouldn't come down to, you know, like, actually scrapping. Like, um, they'll say all this bullshit, like, on Snapchat, Instagram, but it won't come down to that, you know? Unless they're about it, you know? That's why. But, I mean, to be honest, I say drama's not worth it now. Like, you know, for me, you know, like, I'm about to be 18, like, there's no point of me, you know, like, fucking beefing it with the other. Like, I'm about to be an adult, you know? I gotta, like, you know, look out for myself. But if someone, like, hits me or, like, someone, like, touches me, then it, it's going down, you know? Facts, that's facts. Now, I want you to tell us one of your stories about beef. You don't have to put anybody's name in it or nothing like that. Mm. Do you have like a crazy like high school story like that happened? It doesn't gotta be beef though, cause I know like if you go, it might start that beef again. Yeah, <laughs> we went through a lot of beef in high school, yeah. no lie. But um, but yeah, just tell us like you know one of your crazy experience in high school, like you know something that something you know crazy. Uh, there's one beef when it was just uh, this one dude. He's he was a senior and I was a sophomore. And we just beef it every day, like uh, in basketball, like in sports, you know. Uh, we'll be pushing each other. We'll get aggressive. We'll try to fight, you know. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it wasn't really that much, you know. In sports, I mean, you know, everybody gets mad. Everybody tries to fight you when you do something right. Yeah. Um, but you know, it didn't come down to like fighting wise. You know, it just came down to beef. Like you know, we'll just say, "Oh, this dude is trash as fuck," or. Oh, this fool can't play or and like whenever i would go in the paint or something he'll try to push me you know or i would push him yeah. and you know we'll push each other in the gym but it didn't that mean we had a strong coach so you know he would always separate us so that's what happened so just sports sports, sports wise yeah sports beef also one time i was in the gym and i got mad because this one tall dude he was taller than me uh he just kept grabbing me, so I just pushed him, and then the coach uh, told me that it wasn't allowed at Chandler High, so I was like, okay, you know, I didn't do it again, so I just kept doing my own. Yeah. I just ignored it, you know? Something that you want to talk about? I mean, just focusing in school and, you know, if you want to drop out, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know what to tell you. You don't want to work. You know, in a fast food restaurant, busting your ass for a little bit of money. You want to graduate, you want to take that EV opportunity so you can get your certification and be someone in life and have an actual job, you know? But if you want to drop out or if your dad has a company or something, that's on you. You know, like you're, you can move up. But I mean, people say you don't have to go to school to be successful, but... School gives you a lot of opportunities in life. I don't think that you need to go to school to be successful. But one thing that I will say is don't look at it as in your point. Look at it in your parents' point, right? They want you to graduate. Do it for them. Don't do it because you don't want to do it and this and that. You got to make your parents happy. Look, at the end of the day, they're taking care of you. They buy you food every day. You know, I don't know everybody's situation. You know, sometimes um, you got to work at a young age, but... Most of the time, I mean, your parents are buying you clothes, you know, they're supporting you, you know, they, they want you to graduate. So, at least you can do for them is graduate, right? And to be honest, my boy, I didn't think you were going to graduate. <laughs> but he did it, you feel me? He did it. We are talking about it off camera, and he was saying he did it for his parents, you know what I mean? Like, like he knows, you know what, his parents go through every day, so, you know, just to put a smile on their face and to say, you know what, I did it, you feel me? But then, he's about to start his next... You know, journey. journey of life now. You know, high school's over. You're not a kid no more. You got to grow up a little bit. Yeah. What's your plans after high school? What are you doing? Going to EVIT for uh, AC, HVAC, uh, for air conditioning and all that. Uh, I start in July, July 24. So I'm very happy to start that career. And, you know, once I'm done with that, you know, I have a job with my uncle. Oh, he works in HVAC? Yeah, he gets hella money, bro. HVAC is a good job. It's, oh, yeah. It could be hot as hell, but you're making triple the amount everybody's making. Hell yeah. What do you think about 
Um, because obviously there's a lot of high school activities and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like parties, you already know the, you know all that. There's my Problem, life. all that bullshit. What do you think about that? How was your experience? Like, what do you think about it? It's nice, you know. Uh, just you know, gotta enjoy high school because it goes by fast. Like, literally, I did not think these four years were gonna go by fast. I thought they were gonna go by slow, and now we're here. I'm two weeks away from graduation, and I finish school next week. So, you know, it's a blessing to know that I did it. You know. I never thought that I was going to get to this point, but, you know, I just kept going and going and going and I did it, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, big facts. You just got to push yourself for four years. You know, some people don't want to graduate, you know, that's on them. I personally, they don't, I was one of them too. I started slacking off in high school, I think my junior year. And then um, I had to pick it back up, you feel me? Because you have to think about it. It's not just for your, yourself, it's for your parents, you know, just make them happy, man. To make them happy. You're not going to have another chance like that to make them happy, to show you off, you feel me? To be like, to post you on Facebook, my parent, my hijo did it. So, might as well just finish strong if you don't want to do school after that. But, definitely find something that you want to do because I'm telling you right now, in the world that we live in today, you're not going to make a lot of money, you know, working a regular job. You got to, you know, work some type of career, you know, own your own business, you know, just have a plan. Um, especially for all of you guys that are graduating, you know, just have a plan. Just kind of find something that, you know, you love to do and just make some money out of it. That's yeah. all it is. Because if you like, okay, so drop out, right? Like, oh, I want to like work at McDonald's my whole life or something. Like, it's not going to work, you know? Like, I see a lot of people that have dropped out from my, my high school and that's working at McDonald's right now. But, bro, like I'm making the same amount as they are doing and I'm still in school, you know? And that's what I'm saying, like, I'm not saying that those type of jobs don't pay, like, fast food, but I'm just saying, like, not you're not gonna, anyway. they're not, it's not gonna give you enough, you know, um, resources to tener tus lujos en la vida, you feel me? It, you're not gonna be able to buy this, buy that, you know, get a nice house, um, you're gonna be struggling, so, I mean, you know, everybody chooses to live their own life, you choose to build your own life, you know, you're the creator of your life, so. Man, just live it up, bro. Just live it up. Yeah. But again, congratulations to my boy. Appreciate he did it. You already know. Always been there for the journey. So, my boy, let's see where after this high school, after you graduate, yeah. even all that stuff takes you, and we'll go from there. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So, I hope you guys have had some food in front of you. Because if not, y'all gonna be hella hungry. <laughs> but again, guys, you know, thank you for tuning in. You know, thank you for watching. I'm going to be uploading another video. Um, I'm working on another video myself right now. So um, just, you know, putting the pieces together and everything before I record it. But as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video if you guys want to see more videos like this. Also, I'm going to have my, all my social medias down in the description down below. Hasta la próxima, pa. All right, later.